So guys, we have like a third blooming on this Mineola Tangelo, which I don't think I've ever seen like a third period of blooming. And there's a little Tangelo fruit there um, in the container. That is very interesting. These blooms will be open in a few days, the biggest ones. I'll show you guys something neat too. This root sucker of a jujube is blooming. I mean, it's already bloomed and it's starting to fruit. There's like two or three fruits on it. It's maybe 18 inches, two foot high maybe. That's growing every day. I tried to use the um, flowers from this one to actually pollinate my grafted jujube and so far nothing so but yet this one somehow is either so fertile or it got pollination from the grafted one to its flowers got a few new plants that's some arrowroot that somebody gave me i've got some thornless cactus pants prickly pear cactus pants none of the fruits very bland on them so I've got many cuttings from uh, Cherry Alley Agnes or Gimme Berry, Sweet Scarlet. I've got cuttings from uh, Illinois Everbearing Mulberries. I've got this guy here is supposedly like a more cold hardy version of the, like the lemon catley guava. Second round of papaya seedlings is really sprouting or has sprouted. I grafted loquat, a local selection called Shambhala. And I've got a more cold hardy, supposedly red Spanish pineapple plant. But look how the tomatoes are doing. The two that I have, <laughs> still blooming. <coughs> so, from an online nursery, I got a Deanna fig plug. I got a purple possum or possum purple passion flower. And a uh, what is this Charlie's Golden, Charlie's Golden Autumn Olives. So if you know, if you've been like watching my videos and stuff, you'll know that I have a brilliant rose or some type of autumn olive that's supposed to be self fertile. It's it flowered this year, didn't produce berries. It's flowered off and on for like 15 years and never produced um, fruit. So we're going to try to put a gen genetically different one nearby if this guy does okay and see if we actually get fruit in a few years. So this uh, purple possum passion flower, uh, Passiflora edulis or ed edulis, depending on the source, says it's his own 10 or his own eight plant or maybe the cultivar itself that's more cold hardy than other cultivars I think there's at least four or five there's like a giant yellow one and two purple ones and maybe some other types I showed this grafted Himalayan mulberry on our last I think wetlands on one video you can see the leaves are different so the, this is the native or whatever they chose as a rootstock it's kind of excellent as a nurse plant until this guy here the graft so you can see there's graft and tape and stuff there. Until this one's established well, and you slowly cut this back until it's only a, the grafted. And here's a graft that said may or may not take. So there's two grafting points here. All we need is one if it's successful anyway. As you can see, we still have ripe citromellas from last year and green ones there that are already like two, two and a half inches. So they're like half grown with the mature ones from last year some of these are still edible you know when you pull them down a few of them may have a little bit of a fermented taste but once they hit especially after they hit the ground but yeah i, I ate this one of the marsh white beautiful tree just subpar fruit and you know i fertilized it and i'll probably fertilize it one more time for the year see if that improves any of the fruit quality this is our seedling red or whatever it was grapefruit it does have quite a bit of fruit drop I can see from looking at the ground but yeah the, a lot of the old leaves still look bad the new leaves look okay 
I started off fertilizer regimen, you know, even then the last year, early this year, and we'll, just like the other grapefruit, we'll probably fertilize it one more time. Um, I hope that it'll start, you know, a recovery and get just, you know, nice, beautiful leaves everywhere, hold on to its fruit better next year. So it's kind of disappointing that we don't have like a hundred plus fruit that's gonna make it, you know. But this is only the second year it's produced, you know, despite it being, you know, 15 or 16 foot high and stuff. So this is a lot better than like your what your grafted ones will do. Your grafted ones might, you know, produce one to two fruit one year. They might produce five the second year. And then, you know, 15 or 30 the next, and then it might go to 50 or 100 or something. But I can't wait to try them because I didn't get to try them last year.